Okay, here we're going to divide between a ratio. So the question says share £30 in the ratio 4 to 1. So the first thing we've got to look at is how many parts there are. So here I've got 4 to 1. So imagine they're piles of money or imagine they're cups. So I've got four cups. So the first person is going to get four cups, four piles of money. And this other person is going to get one. So for every four this person gets, this person gets one. And um, that's like four piles of money and one pile of money. So what we can say is there are five parts five parts, five cups. We need to share the £30 evenly between the five cups. So sharing is the same as dividing. So 30 shared equally between five. £30 divided by five, that's six pounds. So in each of the cups, we're going to have six pounds. And then the first person has got four, four piles of money, four cups. So that's four times six. Four lots of six, 24. And the second person has got one, one six, so six. So that's 30 pounds shared in the ratio, four to one. Okay, here's a different kind of ratio because there's three... Uh, people involved. So A is going to get four parts, B is going to get one part, C is going to get two parts. So in total, if we've got four, one, and two, there are seven. So there's seven parts. We need to share, so seven cups. We need to share the £35 evenly between the seven cups. 35 divided by seven, that's five. So in each cup, we can put £5. <laughs> so then we look at how much each one's got. So the first one's got four parts, four cups. So that's four times five, which is 20. Second one's one times five, which is five. And the third person's got two fives, and they've got 10. Okay, this is a different kind of question. Um, you need to be aware that the ratio questions aren't always gonna come in exactly the same format. So Mr. A and Mr. B share some money in the ratio two to three. Mr. B gets 45 pounds. So this is what Mr. B's got. This is what Mr. A's got. So 45 pounds isn't then gonna go between five parts. It's just those three parts. So 45 pounds is three parts. So to find out what one part is, we need to divide by three. So one part is 45 divided by three, 15. So each part's worth 15. So this is three 15s, three times 15 and two times 15. So three 15s were the 45 that we were told about and two 15s is 30. So Mr. A gets 30 pounds. He gets two parts, two 15s. So Mr. B got three parts, we divide by three, find that each one's 15, Mr. A's got two parts, so two 15s of 30. Okay, here's some questions for you to try, pause the video, give them a go. Okay, first one, we've got a ratio one to two, so that means one part to two parts. That's three in total, three parts three parts, so 60 divided by three, 20. So, and it's pounds in this case. 20 pounds is each part, so 20, 20, and 20. So we've got 20, one times 20, 
and we've got 2 times 20, so 40. Ratio 5 to 3, so 2, 3, 4, 5 to 1, 2, 3. So there are 8 parts. 8 parts. Um, 56 divided by 8, that's 7, so $7 in this case. So each one of these is $7. We've got five sevens, five times seven, so thirty-five dollars. And we've got three times seven, which is twenty-one dollars. We can always check these by making sure they add up. So twenty and forty add up to sixty, thirty-five and twenty-one add up to fifty-six. So we know that we've got the right amount of money at the end if we check that. Um, and 65 squeaks in the ratio 3 to 1 to 1, that's 5 parts. I'm not going to draw the, um, the cups this time, I'm just going to go straight to 5 parts. And then 65 divided by 5 is 13. So 13 sweets is a part, each part is 13. So I've got 3 times 13, 1 times 13 and 1 times 13. 3 13s are 39. 113 is 13, 113 is 13. So that's the final answer.